in this video i will discuss certain terms related to demonstrative geometry with you and uh, that is related to theorem number 2 and before i start uh, the theorem i will discuss some uh, uh, angles with you adjacent angles so the word adjacent means next or neighboring and by the adjacent angles we mean next to each other so for the angles to be adjacent they should have the same vertex one common arm and the other arms extend on opposite sides of the common arm of the two angles. So if you see the geometrical figure here, what do you observe? That angle BOC and angle COA, uh, these are two angles, adjacent angles and they are neighboring to each other. So OC is the common arm. As you can see here it is written. Now complementary angles two angles are called complementary angles if sum of measures of the angles is 90 degree we see here in the given geometrical uh, figure c a d and d a b these are two um, complementary uh, uh, the, their sum is actually making complementary angles because c a d is 30 degree and the other one is 60 so it, that is equal to 90 degree now I will revise supplementary angles with you. So two angles are called supplementary angles if the sum of measures is 180 degree. So angle AOC is 120 degree and angle BOC is 60. When we take the sum it is equal to 180 degree. So after uh, watching this video do revise the definitions firstly and then write them in your copy. Now let's start theorem number 2. So, if the sum of measures of the two adjacent angles is equal to two right angles, the external arm of the angles are in a straight line. So, I will repeat the statement again. If the sum of measures of two adjacent angles is equal to two right angles, the external arm of the angles are in a straight line. This theorem is theorem number 2. It is given on page 171 and 171 in your maths book. So, the blue part of the statement is the given. So, it is saying a measure angle POY, POY and measure angle QOY are adjacent angles and measure angle POY and QOY is equal to, their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the proof is OP and OQ are in a straight line that is POQ is a straight line. Now the construction part of the theorem is suppose POQ is not a straight line then draw a straight line POX. So for the construction you are going to take a point O as a center and then draw a dotted line from O as OX as you can see here and use green color to do that. Then they are saying just suppose that POQ is a straight line. Now next part of the theorem is it says, uh, let's start with the proof, uh, measure, uh, this is the POX and it is a straight line that we have already done in the construction. Now measure angle POY and uh, plus measure angle YOX, so that is equal to 180 degree. So OY stands on POX, that is statement number 1. Then measure angle POY plus measure angle QOY is equal to 180 degree that is given that we have already done in the given. When we combine these two statements students each of as each of it is equal to 180 degree so when uh, we combine these we can write it here measure angle POY plus measure angle YOX is equal to measure angle POY plus measure angle QOY by statement number 1 and statement number 2. Next uh, therefore measure angle uh, y o x is equal to measure angle q o y q o y and state this is statement number three but students this is not possible because you see y o x is part of uh, bigger angle y o q so uh, it is not possible because part cannot be equal to whole thus our supposition is wrong and hence p o q is a straight line and it has been proved to third and the fourth one so students after uh, um, understanding this theorem and watching this video you have to read the theorem from the book as well and note down the homework. You have to write this theorem in your copies. Thank you.